Welcome to Swag Fails. In this video, overturned trucks, USA road rage, bad truck drivers. All of these thrilling moments are waiting for you in today's video. So let's take a look and learn how to become a wiser and a safer driver. Start the journey now. Rule number one when driving on ice is to avoid brakes and keep your front wheels pointed forward, even if you lose traction. Braking could get you in the ditch quickly. Surprisingly, he continued to dash speed after the first hit without any alertness. That speed is too fast compared to the conditions to promptly observe the warning signs. This happened in Wichita, KS. A semi truck almost loses complete control after its brakes lock up. I think the semi trucks, if a tire blows out, the brakes automatically can lock up. Surely a reckless driver was trying to rush across the tracks while the barrier was coming down. Luckily, he was wearing a seat belt. I believe he learned a memorable list. Oh my Maybe when he swerved the first time, his load shifted, and then taking that turn tipped him over when it would normally have been fine. Road rage occurs when someone unconsciously throws a bottle out the window. Obviously, he was in the wrong for using his fists. Oh my god, are you kidding me? A large truck rear ended the Mustang, pushing it for several meters before the driver could maneuver away from it. The driver then received a $50 fine. You are not at fault. The wrong person is the guy checking your brakes, but you should have slowed down and keep your distance from him as soon as he emerged into the lane recklessly. There appear to be no warning signs about the height of the power lines. Everyone should nonetheless pay attention to their surroundings, especially when driving at a high height truck. I think everyone in an ambulance is taught to stop at red lights until it is determined it is safe to do so. It occurred in the Charles River in Weston, MA. It was a curve, and there was a warning to only drive at 25 miles per hour, but the driver seemed to ignore that. The driver is believed to have survived. If you intend to cut someone off, try to speed up to keep distance from them instead of recklessly checking the brakes like this pickup guy is doing. I thought that the driver executed the turn beautifully, unfortunately for the driver, though he picked a very bad time to do it. People like this is why you should have a dash cam. The tanker truck with the hazmat is too impatient to wait his turn in line and wriggles his way around. Passing me, when I pull up into a fuel island that's just been freed up. These pilot trucks stop in Mahawa and Jay. 
The trucker was absolutely in the wrong. Although there were really wasn't much they could have done since that turn looked really tight. If you agree with this opinion, please comment number one right now. It looks like wet roads are the cause. Luckily, the driver was safe. The truck didn't collide with another vehicle, and it didn't overturn. At least he stopped in time before running into oncoming traffic. Please pay attention before crossing the street. People always drive through the emergency lane during rush hour traffic. Just to save a few seconds. What a pity, this guy was out of luck today. Except for the car with the dash cam and the truck in front, the remaining trucks were all running too fast for the conditions. The driver is trying to get out of the rigged semi, but he miraculously survived. The tired lane and the road looked like his front wheel must have came off. The truck was pulling out of an alley while friends were driving, and they went around him to avoid hitting him. And that's when he skipped them and started getting violent. The trailer driver misjudged its height and crashed into a 45-year-old iconic pedestrian bridge in Penang, Malaysia. These cars were waiting to take a lift across. Oncoming traffic are nearly rear-ended by cement trucks. The truck runs off the road and comes close to overturning on the shoulder. The trailer crashes into a booth in Klimovsk, Moscow region, Russia. I'm really glad that he went and saved his friend. That could have ended badly. The tow truck driver who ran the red light was lucky to avoid colliding with the red and the white cars thanks to them stopping in time. But the black car in the innermost lane was not so lucky. The trailer crashes into a taxi, tries to flee, and attacks five cars. Is he drunk or using illegal substances? A sober driver would hardly have such wild behavior. Freight train crashes into a tractor trailer that had gotten stuck on the railroad tracks in Haverstra, New York. Luckily, the driver was able to escape in time. The terrifying moment was when a truck pulled in front of the tractor trailer along the Interstate 26 West, causing a wreck that backed up traffic for hours. And finally, Might have left, but not as fast as that guy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Lots of fun around, they say. Somebody's getting fired. He thinks he's pushing the truck. That could be a bad day.
Oops, bro, are you fine? Damn, can't believe he tried again. You're fired. Why? Haha! <laughs> You're fine, right, bro? Just get back in, bro. He tried to stop the car with his hand. Extra just in case some got destroyed on the way. Oh my gosh. I saw that coming. I got a video of it. They're still driving. Oh my goodness. Oh my <laughs> Just chilling, bro. This is why we don't do glass install. That guy still probably makes more money than I do. Oh god, I hope he's not gonna lean off. <laughs> oh. Hey Google, park the car inside the house. I'll be there later. Oh my gosh. Maybe God bless them.
I wonder whose fault that was. <laughs> Their instinct was to drive into oncoming traffic so they wouldn't have to slow down before stopping themselves. I was expecting a high-pitched scream. I'm a little disappointed. OP must be fishing for some somebody votes with such an obvious question. Just a red light that the driver has to suffer is such a high price. Oh no! This collision seems to have taken this driver by surprise. This collision really surprised me. He who wrecks and runs away will live to wreck another day. Interesting that you found such a long stretch of Pennsylvania road without any road work on the way. He's gonna get on the I don't know, he's riding between both ways. Unfortunately, the caution flag came out before the lap could be completed. She embraces liberal issues and on her campaign website. Former President Holmes classification disagreement. What was the guy who took the classification on a paperwork? Are you kidding me? He said it's all going to be absolutely fine. What do you mean? It has 18 months out of the world. The self and the bicycle come on. I mean, we all. One verbally said, You didn't see that happening? When watching this, absolutely mad. People don't realize how quickly they can become murderers when hauling stuff insecure. You meet up at the next stoplight, damn idiots. Cut off traffic in the next lane or rear end the car in front. 
Let's go for the daily double. 55 mm. doing it, you know. It'd be What's satisfying it gonna... if his role in these films were to change. Get a hovel and push it on their loan. I don't know if this is true, but I want to believe. He's gonna hit something, Jesus Christ, dude. What's happening? Red lights are so complicated. I'm trying to figure out how the spin out is related to the pedestrian. It looks like it happens well past where he's standing. Interviews and her ads. He'll uphold the 18. Using his front brake instead of rear, you brake much faster. God, that that's cute. Went up like a Rand Rand cartoon. What do buy yash? Look like a parking garage. I'm willing to bet that colored security and just said the door is broken. There is a fucking baby on this person's lap as she's driving, talking on the phone. Oh my god. Breaking every. You could see what was going to happen a mile away. Look like the dude is driving Fred Flyson's car. Probably has an opening for his feet to make it go. He's just driven from St. Albans like that. St. Albans? Yeah. Huh? Only one spare tire. Your red car with head racing strips must eye like camouflage in your local setting. Next time, pick less motor colors. apparent that the contamination is not the fault of the plant or its workers. Oops! This is probably just an accident. Looks like this wheel has left his beloved car. Everybody better. Wow. B 
careful. Maybe this car had a problem that had to stop. And the passenger wasn't wearing a seat belt. Hit the windshield so hard you can hear it. Wow! Built outside the car. That's not good. I got nightmares in my head. I fear. If you are not going for a closing gap, you are no longer a racing driver. Signals do not give you the right of way. Maybe he didn't think he hit the mailbox. Should've known that camel wrap was a bad idea for your car. Probably thought it was mistakenly their turn to go when the car to their left went. I guess he didn't notice that there was a non-coming car as he was turning outside. Almost, there was an accident with these two drivers. It's like a real race track of these two cars. What a surprise! This hit and run by the driver of the crashed car must have made them very angry. This driver's hasty turn around made me feel very shocked. How the heck is that unicycle supposed to stop quickly?
говорю, попал. Probably thought my Tesla has cameras, therefore I'm always in the right. Damn trucks not taking the time to lower the damn beds at a bad or our existence in areas with lots of car friction. Sometimes a world led drivers know at the moment how stupid the trolley are. Oh no! Never trust Google Map instruction if you don't want to get lost in this way. What's wrong with you, bro? Thank goodness for being in sacred territory because if I was aboard that particular LACMTA bus witnessing that I will be cringing. This was so amazingly lucky if it wasn't for the video no one would believe it. It's so perverse. God, that made me laugh. Oh, he crashed oh, his oh, truck. Oh. Ah, <laughs> you piece of Yeah, I'm all for more flashing yellows, but there will be a lot of crashes if they tried it there. It's really, really dangerous when you drive to the road. Oh my God, dude. What a bitch. Oh dude, he's sparking, bro.
I don't know what they think they are even achieving if both lines are already backed up to this point. It's dumb enough to block an empty lane, but block a full one? Just why? Those bollards justify their existence again. No, it's really, really dangerous. What do you think is wrong on this road? This is why I want a fleet of 500 business cars to just be able to get hit in and knock her. If you point your front dash down a little, it will adjust the exposure and you will be able to see more. Probably never even looked to the right. Ha! He didn't even speed up to get across. Just kept the same 0.2 mph crossing speed. He and everybody behind him got really lucky. Should have just kept the wheel straight. That's it, Dohan. Luckily, you were on your toes. I wouldn't take it personally. You almost see everyone else too.
that we can go and fight them. Like, I, I feel like nobody has as much. <laughs> Imagine the insurance explanation. <laughs> it's not how you do it, it's just that it's done. Ticket the guy that hooked up the trailer. <laughs> Mother Nature always wins. When you're just done with people using you and not giving you any credit. That's how you do it. It touched the power wires. Damn. Then Tuesday morning I'm going to come find you wherever you go. Then you and maybe change your Looks like Sleepy Joe fell asleep at the wheel. I would have thrown the shovel at his head. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for new videos every day. Comment below, let us know your thoughts. See ya! Hello, welcome to Swike Fails Supercar Fails channel. Swike Fails Supercar Fails is a channel that brings you traffic failure situations on the road, racetrack, and anywhere. If you're a big fan of Supercar Fails, crash car compilation, and incredible traffic situation caught on dashcam, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Wish you have relaxing moments on the channel Swag Fails, Supercar Fails. Goodbye and see you in our latest video. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through. I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through. Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through. Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not.
not true I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that time can heal it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning